Good morning, this is Stuart Davidson, your friendly QS. And you'll probably notice that I've been posting around cash flow, cash flow and construction. And recently I posted about the amendments to the JCT contract, which is going to affect the whole of the supply chain in terms of payments. And this relates to the government's ambition to improve cash flow in construction and the fair payment charter. Now, what this does is aligns valuation dates right the way through the supply chain. It's called an IVD, it's the interim valuation date. Now these, the intention is, is for these to be aligned with the contractor, the subcontractors and sub-subcontractors. So if you're a subcontractor, what happens now is when the main contractor gets paid, your payments will be aligned with his payments. So when he gets paid and, it, and the money arrives in his account, he has five days to pay you, which is a good thing. And also, you need to do the same back to back with your sub subcontractors. So it's kind of trying to get this money flowing much quicker through the system. You'll need to make your application slightly earlier. So if you've got an IVD date, four days before the IVD date, if you're a subcontractor, and again with your subcontractors. And then again, when you get paid, uh, five within five days, you pay your contractor. Now, one of the other key features here is that the employer and the main contractor get 28 days to assess loss and expense claims, so delay, disruption, this kind of thing. Now, that's good because I know that these things can roll on for months and months and they owe you money, you're losing money, you're paying your blokes, they raise an objection and then your, your cash flow is going down, your outgoings are higher than your income, you've got long payment dates and traditionally up to now your payment dates are a month delayed to the main contractors but this is all being aligned but there's an onus on you now uh, to keep in order for a 28 day assessment of a delay disruption claim or loss and expense claim you'll need to make sure that you keep the right records and issue them to the client on a regular basis or to your client, to the main contractor. Because to enable this uh, 28 day uh, assessment uh, to be made, he's got, they've got to have the right information. So day one, have your templates in place, have the right list of records that you need to keep and keep them and submit them straight away. Because there is an op onus for you to submit straight away and then on a continued regular basis, if you leave it too long, you could miss out and you could bar yourself from claiming. So make sure you get your records in, make sure you get your payment applications in on time, make sure you're paying your sub subcontractors on time. And the whole idea of this is to get the money flowing. And we know what happens when money flows, we create wealth. So just a few things that I wanted to cover there. I think it's a good move. It's a great uh, step forward. And I cover these in my cash flow style system. And if you'd like to know more about that, message me and I can take you through that. But it covers three key areas, which is sales, agreement, contracts, and trust, due diligence, and how you can get your, con your clients knowing about you, trusting about you, trusting about your brand and your product, so that they want to work with you. So you've got more opportunity to agree uh, payment terms and contract terms that can be more beneficial beneficial to you and your suppliers. This is Stuart Davidson, your friendly QS, signing off. See you in the next video.